When you start with the default scene in Lightwave Layout, you're presented with a camera and a distant light. So you're ready to go. If you load in some objects, I've loaded in a, a couple objects, uh, and you're ready to go. All you have to do is uh, do an F9, get a render, and you're, you're set. Uh, of course, you're going to probably want to adjust where the camera is and where the light is, and maybe even change up some light types. The distant light gives you a nice, crisp shadow. So let's go ahead and do a render and see what happens here. Okay, so I've got this nice hard shadow. All the shadows are, are very crisp. Okay, now the thing to know about a distant light is wherever you move it, it doesn't matter where you move it. I'm going to completely change the location of this light and do a render. And nothing changed because it doesn't matter where you move it. It only matters how you rotate it. So I'm just going to kind of move this back here and I'm going to rotate it and we'll see that the shadow changes. Okay, so I'll just uh, rotate this back, maybe down a little bit, and there we go. So we'll work with this shadow. Now, the, the thing that I'm seeing here is a nice, crisp shadow, but what if I want it to be crisp closer to the character and then get softer, or just have a soft shadow, but I want the attributes of a distant light? Okay, what I can do is I can take advantage of the dome light. So I'm going to go to Light, Properties, change Light Type from Distant, to dome. Now you get two options here, quality and angle. A quality of four is a little low whenever you have an angle of, of 90 degrees here. But let's go ahead and take a look at, without changing anything, uh, as far as the, the rotation of the light, let's go ahead and do a render. And as you can see, uh, we've got a lot of uh, noise here, but very soft shadows. Now if I wanted to get rid of that noise, I just up the quality. But before we do that, let's take a look. I'm going to change my angle to zero. Okay, so I'm going to tighten in that uh, that angle down to nothing, to zero, and do a render. And as you can see, we're getting the exact same result as using a distant light. So with an angle of zero, a dome light is a distant light. So if we want to soften that shadow a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and just, let's do 20 degrees. And as you can see, we get a nice soft shadow. Uh, again, there's some noise in there, but we would just up the quality. So if we, let's just up the quality. I'll do a 12 and let's do a render. And as you can see, we get a nice uh, shadow. Uh, we're not really seeing the noise anymore because I upped the quality. And you can up that as, uh, as high as you'd like. Of course, uh, the, the higher the quality, uh, you will take a render hit for it. Uh, but 12 seems to be working pretty well here. And uh, what I'm going to do is go back to the original default setting of 90 degrees, and we'll just keep the, the quality at 12 and do a render of that so we can take a look. Okay, as you can see, we've got nice soft shadows and uh, all of this with a dome light. So if the angle is set at zero, you get the equivalent of a distant light. And as you open that up, the shadows become much softer. So I kind of look at the dome light as a mix between a distant light uh, and an area light because it's got the qualities of a distant light with the uh, shadow ability of an area light. So we can change the quality to up the quality. If you start getting any noise in areas, you can always up the quality and the angle, the larger you open it up, the softer the shadows. So that's just a quick look at the dome light, light type in Lightwave Layout.